welcome back to Coating Gaming. We are here for episode number 62 of our 1860 Munich Let's Play series. And in today's episode, we have a DFP, DFB Pokal third round game against Hamburg. And then a Bundesliga game with everything to play for against Bayern Munich. And let's have a look at the schedule since you were last with us. Um, which was the... 2-2 draw against Hertha Berlin. We had some friendlies involved and some uh, actual Bundesliga games, four Bundesliga games, four friendlies. So we won against Porto, uh, Gdansk, Benfica and uh, Verona, uh, Chivo Verona. In our friendlies, we then had two annoying defeats back-to-back uh, -back in the Bundesliga. One against Paderborn, which we won 2-1. And then we lost against top of the table and runaway leaders Schalke again, 2-0. But then we bounced back with two 3-2 victories in a row. One against Bayer Leverkusen and one against Eintracht Frankfurt. Which is big because they are the teams around us in the league. If we have a look here, um, we have Bayer Leverkusen in 8th, Hertha uh, and, and, and Eintracht Frankfurt in 7th. We have now put a little bit of a gap in between us two. But I have no doubt that when we face Bayern Munich... But that's not going to happen, and we're going to be going to be drawn back into the pack. We are currently fifth with 36 points, which means we are pretty much guaranteed survival this season, as you'd expect for being fifth place in January in the Bundesliga. Um, we have won 11 games, drawn three, and lost six, with a goal difference eight. This season, we have moved away from our draws and put them more into wins currently, which is great. Um, there have been a few more losses as well than there was at this time last season. And if we have a look, we have Shiva as our top goal scorer. He just will not stop scoring, which is great. Last of the highest average rating. Alfredino, most assist. Rocker, the best pass completion. Davidson, the most player of the match awards. Alfredino, the most yellow cards. And Galani and Rocker with the most red cards. And um, I don't think there's actually any... If we have to look at the history, transfer history, I don't think there's anything too big that came off uh, Timothy went back on loan to Borisov Peter Borisov he only had a 6 month loan but he has, they have extended it to a 12 month loan in total and I don't believe I've actually bought anyone oh no to be fair I don't know if I've shown you so yeah let's go, go with this one we have Thameli now from Cape Town City for £800,000 he is a striker 4 star current ability 4 star potential uh, 19 year old South African I don't understand why he counts as four star because I guess there's there's not a lot of reds. There's only heading and throw-ins, long throws that are actually reds in this, which might make him a pretty good player. He's not currently playing in our first team, but I will probably give him a few games here and there um, to see what good he can do. Uh, we then bought uh, David uh, Dabrowski from Ligia Warsaw for three point eight million pounds. Um, this one maybe was a panic buy of a midfielder. Um, a young midfielder, he's 19, he's Polish. The potential ability is not exactly there. So maybe we will cut our losses this season and hopefully <sighs> recoup some of that money maybe or potentially loan him out next season and then try and get some money from him. Uh, we then signed Carrasco from River Plate for 3.5, could rise to 6 million. He is another striker with three star current ability, four and a half star potential, maybe potential, 3.8 million valued already, 19 year old Argentinian player. Pretty decent. Um, he, yeah, not any cons to be too worried about. Apparently, Davison is our fourth best striker at the club, which I don't think he is, but that'll be reevaluated at the end of the season. And then we bought Wilmo Radas from Atletico Nacional. 1.2 million. He is again another striker, 19 year old Colombian this time, three star current, four star potential, resilient, either footed, quite nice player. And hopefully, yeah, we can we can push on with some of these players, maybe get some loans with them, um, probably next season for them to then push on and, and get their potential. There are a lot more transfers if we look at, um, we have an 18 million pound Leone bid that we've accepted, uh, mainly because he's valued at 9.25 million. Um, he's 24, and 18 million to me, it sounds pretty good for a team who is currently first in the Bundesliga 2. And we also have uh, Mickey Sutton, an English, 17-year-old English guy. He's currently current two-star ability with a five-star potential resilient winger. He has already scored 
He scored in his debut for us in the last game against uh, Frankfurt, um, which was fantastic. He scored what was the equalising goal. Yeah, we went 1-0 down and he scored the equalising goal. So, yeah, I, I like him. I like him, so that means we can le- uh, let um, Leone go, obviously, for a good enough offer, and that was a good enough offer for me. And I have got quite a lot of ins. <laughs> Uh, we've got one loan player um, that hopefully will come to us. It is a loan with a fee attached. It's Khalid Hatab. Um, he's a 20-year-old left-back. We are currently in an injury crisis on left-back. We don't actually have one at the moment, so Nye is having to play in this game for us. Um, and he probably will have to play in the next game as well against Bayern Munich. So, yeah, we need this guy in. He's got he's decent. We I, I couldn't afford him um, for to, to buy. Um, although I would potentially like him to buy, but yeah, we we offered him a loan uh, contract and see if he can accept it. And we've got a load of of youngsters. We've got a load of 17, 18 year old. Um, they're all I'm pretty sure Argentinian, um, 17, 18, and 19 year old players, all for roughly about 2.5 million, with potentially rising to six across the board. Um, just a lot of players that could potentially be great for us in the future and hopefully we can start integrating them into the team and get them improving towards their potential so this is the team we have for today's episode uh, today's game against Hamburg we have Kregelmeyer in goal a back four of Nye Lastra Smiljanic which we brought back from his loan um, and Dykeman as well we have Carlos at the base midfield with Rocker and Agume in front of him we've got Sheba on the left who scored the winning goal I believe in the last game Fasion comes on the right hand side and Davidson leads the line so let's get into this game and see if we can get to the fourth round of the DFB puck out which we are really aiming to at least get to the final in this just to secure our chances of getting European football because um, obviously if we drop down to seventh it's not guaranteed which would be aggravating again and it's all very congested in the midfield pack currently uh, we're apparently the underdogs Come on, show me what you can do to keep this run going. I have faith in you. Let's hopefully, 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 win this game. As they kick off from left to right in their home white kit, I guess. It, although it looks a weird kit to be a home kit there, to be fair. But we are in our beautiful dark grey and blue uh, Outlined? What's the call? What's the word? I don't. I can't remember the word for the life of me. But it's fifteen minutes gone, and quite frankly, nothing has happened. But we have a throw in with Dykeman on that far side into Fasio, and back to Dykeman. Cross comes in, and they had a clear. But we win the ball back. Davidson now with a chance here has a shot. It's a free kick, and I am going to straight away um, put low crosses on because I keep forgetting to change that between games, so it actually stays permanently on. But yeah, not a lot going for the time being. There's a, um, a goal kick to Hamburg, which Carlos does manage to win the ball back. Finds a Gume into Rocker. What can he do here? He's decided he's running to the opposite end of the pitch. Fires it back to Smoljanic, who tries to chip it to one of our wingers. Can't quite get there, and they are coming back. Wit? Is that Wit? Nye is just giving away a penalty again, this kid. Every so often, Nye gives away a penalty. Come on, Kregelmeyer. Be a hero. And he bloody is! Yes! Come on! Come on, we've got to go win this now. Come on, they've got a corner. Near side, ball comes in towards the back post. They do get a header on it and it goes well wide. Thank God for that. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demand more from them when I can. Come on. We need to win this game. It's going to be a very, very tight game here. To be fair, I do remember, I think it was the third round last season where we had we um, got to extra time and, and it was the difference. So I kind of would like to avoid that. God, I'm not happy with the performance out there. Go out there and do something. I mean, nothing's really happened. But hopefully from kicking from left to right in the second half, we can actually make something happen. This is relatively a strong team, potentially currently our, our best 11. Um, Alfredino you know, maybe for Shiva um, on that left wing. So we should have enough to beat this team here. They are in the Bundesliga and they are um, mid-table. Sheba with a cross there. Davison with a shot. Keeper latches onto it. 
and nothing doing here. It's a very even game. We have had all four of our shots on target here as they made an early sub in the second half. And I'm thinking, who do I want to take off? And can anyone actually can anyone actually play fullback? Bamford can. We'll get Bamford on the pitch. One of our loans from Man City, I believe he is. We'll get him on. No time to demand. I'm going to demand more from them. And we need to sort of do something here. We are going to get Mickey Sutton on for, for Fassion on that far side, on that, that uh, right hand side. And there's a chance here. Lastra with a free kick in our own half into Bamford. Finds a Goumet. He's trying to run forward here. Gets tackled, but Rocker picks the ball back up. Finds Sheba on the overlap. Has a shot that is blocked. And it goes up for a corner on the far side. Can we do a good cross here? It's Carlos to take. In towards Lastra, but the, we don't get to it. And there's maybe a chance for a counter-attack here, but nothing doing there. Carlos looks dead. Sheba with a throw on the far side. We need to get a goal here. 81st minute. Davidson in towards Sheba. He's now in the box. Can he find a cross here? Trying to beat his man. The cross does come in, but the, the defender does clear it. And there's a chance for a counter-attack here. And we need to shut this down straight away. So they go back towards their defence. And our press seems to be working quite well here. Oh, there's some tackles that we've missed here. Goume with another missed tackle. It's not looking good. The ball comes through. And Kregelmeyer saves it, but the free kick is awarded for a offside, I believe. And straight into the next highlight. Smoljanic into a Goume, into a rocker. Finds Bamford on that left-hand side. Runs forward now. Can we get a goal here? Sheba now on the overlap. Bamford picks the ball back up. Can he cross? He has a shot himself. Oh, my God. That was out of nowhere. It was a great, great shot and great save by the keeper. And we look to be effective from this corner. Carlos to take us in towards Lashter again. Lashter with the header. Oh, when he does connect on them, it normally results in a goal. Right. People are dead. Carlos is dead. So what we're going to do... We're going to get Manaz on. And we're going to do... Double Mazala here. Drop... Dykeman. Actually, no, we're going to get we're going to get Springer on if we can. We can't. So if it does go to extra time, I believe we do get another substitution, and that will be Springer. Although Last was on a, on seventy percent conditioning already. There are four minutes of stoppage time to go, and there is a highlight, and this could be painful. Bamford picks the ball back up, finds Last into a Goume here, finds Rocker now. A Goume goes forward towards Shiva. Can we find? A decisive pass here goes into a Goume. Sprays the ball out to Sutton here on this near side. What can he do here? Gets tackled but does win the ball back and he's now running into the box. Cross comes in. <sighs> Doesn't meet anyone and they clear but a Goume picks the ball back up and we're coming straight back at them. Sheba on this near, far side. Finds Bamford on the overlap. Goes back into Rocker. Over the top towards Sutton. Nothing doing. Minos wins the ball back. Sheba with a chance. Sheba with another chance. Oh my god he's hit the post twice. Oh my god, she was in the post twice in a row. Oh my god, what's happening here? Manaz with a chance! Oh my god, it was Bamford as well. Oh, it's pinballing. Oh my god. And we do go into extra time. Right, we've got to be able to make another substitution. We can. Springer has to come on. Lastra is dying as well. But I didn't do a team talk. I didn't do a team talk. Oh my god. And time to get creative here. Come on. I don't want to go to penalties. Penalties will give me a heart attack. It's this third round. It's so hard to come up, get over the hurdle of this third round. Right. Oh, we've got a lot. A lot of tired players. Sheba finds Davidson with a throw and finds Sheba again. He's running into the box. Now, can he shoot? He can. And the keeper saves it again. His corner far side, Sheba to take. Ball comes in. Davison will get this back though. Can he find a ball of the box into Sheba, who is apparently offside? Didn't quite look it from my angle. Oh my god. Kogelmeyer's on a 7. That keeps on a 7.1. It's the second half of extra time. <sighs> Come on. I can't do penalties. I really can't do penalties. It's so stressful. Set and now ball towards the over the top. Do you know what? We're gonna go we're gonna go positive. As Craig Meyer has the ball in his hand here. 
And we look to build from the back into Lastra. Finds a rocker, goes back to Lastra again. Finds a rocker again, goes all the way back to Craigelmeyer. And this is a weird start of the highlight. So hopefully we're going to score this ball over the top. And oh my God, Smoljanic has just lost his possession there. But Manoz picks the ball back up. He's one of our fittest players currently. There is a player behind him. He goes all the way back to Springer. He goes inside to Agume. Back to Smoljanic. He goes over the top toward Davidson again. He wins the ball somehow, but gets tackled. Smoljanic heads it to Springer, and it is looking like it. Come on. Please, just nick a goal. I can't do penalties. Oh, my God, it's going. It is. And it is penalties. Oh no! Oh my god! I mean, why is it Lastra? What the bloody hell! I don't know why it's not showing us or. Is it showing us all of our play? He is, yeah. All right. All right, it's got to be Manaz, Agume, Davidson, Sheba, maybe Rocker in there. Springer, Smyanich, Lastra. And then I, I, don't, I don't really know what, what's left. Sutton gone in there? No, he hasn't. Bamford. I think Craig on Right. It's going to be... It's going to have to be behind the goal for this. I don't know why I'm going for positive. They have got the first penalty. And can Craig Meyer become a hero here? They score. Okay. Menard's now to take for us. Can he slot this home? Oh, he switches sides. I hate when they do that. And he's missed. It's at the bar and come back out. Right, Vidal now to take for them. Come on, Kregelmeyer. You need to save the penalty here. He switched sides again. And Kregelmeyer saves. Oh, come on. Come on, Agume. Do not miss. Come on. Why do people keep switching sides? Oh, beautiful penalty. Smashes that into the back of the net. No saving that. Ito to take for them. Craig and Meyer, come on, be a hero again. He hasn't switched sides. And he saved it. Come on, it was straight down at the keeper. Davidson, come on, do us proud here. You've got good finishing, come on. He switched sides, stop switching sides. It's down the middle, but the keeper dives out the way. And we take a 2-1 lead to Kashi now. To Kashi? I don't know how you pronounce that. Come on, Craig and Meyer. He scores. Craig and Meyer can't save it. And now we have Sheba. Oh my god, here we go. Come on. He hasn't switched. Good. Down the middle again, but it does. The keeper does dive the wrong way. And uh, is this potential? If they miss this, we win? Yes. If they miss this and it's. Wicked. Wick. I don't know how you pronounce that. Wigged? Wick? Wicked? I don't know, but Craig Omar, come on, be a hero. If he misses this, we win. He's missed it! Oh god, oh crap, I saved it, but we bloody win on penalties. Oh my god. Oh, thank bloody god for that. Oh, that's a, that is brilliant. Oh my god, everyone's dead. That is great. Oh, but literally everyone, everyone is dead. Oh my god, when's the draw? I don't know when the draw is. Oh my god, here we go. We, we win. Press conference, come on, Skirtle, you can do it. We receive half a million. People are going to need to be rested. I just, yeah, it's a good job I got that already selected. Right, everyone's having a two-day rest. Oh, bloody Nora, that was great. Do you know what? I'm going to get to the, I'm going to get to the, 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 uh, the fourth round draw, the quarterfinal draw. You'll see me then. We have the DFB Pokal quarter-final draw today. Eight teams are going to the hat for four matches to be drawn with teams varied as Bayern, Munich, Schalke, Paderborn and 1860 Munich. Let's have a look at the draw. 
This is going to be a tough one no matter what happens here. So we've got Paderborn. I would love Paderborn. Get Leipzig. Schalke, please no. Get Dortmund, okay. Buy Munich, oh lord. Get Hertha, so we get Stuttgart. Interesting. We're currently 16th in the Bundesliga. That is a great draw as it goes. 6th of February, that's pretty soon, isn't it? Bloody Nora, it is. So in that case, actually, we'll we'll skip the Bayern Munich game. We'll go straight into the Stuttgart game. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll skip that straight today, and we'll go into the Stuttgart game. That'll be next in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed that episode, make sure you click that like, click that like button, comment, and subscribe. If you do end up subscribing, make sure you click that notification bell so that you with everything on the channel. But until next time, goodbye.